Welcome back to LEX 18 News at Sunrise. Now, today we're going to tell you about this new system that uh, I think you'll be really interested in, especially if uh, you're one of those folks that wonders how athletes get their edge. There may be a way that was more or less this is, this product and systems coming out of uh, was where you are you Doc in Harrodsburg? Based is out of Harrodsburg, yeah. Based out of Harrodsburg. And I think we'll be hearing more about it. So MIND, which is uh, what we're calling ourselves, yeah. uh, works how? Give me the, uh, the Cliff Notes version of this. Uh, basically, we're working in the brain performance, brain enhancement realm. So think of a strength and conditioning coach working with an athlete to develop their muscular systems, their, their uh, proprioceptive skills, um, their agility, their eye-hand coordination. We're working in the same realm to train athletes and their perceptual skills. Uh, tightening up their sensory evaluation of visual cues um, so that they can make reaction times and make movements faster. Well, by the way, this is uh, Dr. Jeff Klosterman. Now, I, I, this this system, I think, had been around. You've sort of tweaked it and done it to, into your style and version, right? Well, th yeah, the, the system, you know, there's been visual perceptual skills is actually something that got me interested in eye care. And for years, it was always kind of a pseudoscience. There wasn't a lot of mm -hmm. objective, standardized, repeatable ways to get metrics on athletes <clears throat> and uh, this company did a really good job of of coming out with technology and software so now we can uh, in a standardized environment across the country rank athletes when they're competing on this um, on the device they're actually getting ranked in real time via cloud-based data to other athletes performing the test so essentially what we're talking about is getting quicker so and, and there's ways to do that and one of them is really interesting Haley will show you when we come back to it because uh, if you take away information from the brain, so you wear glasses that cause a strobe effect, so you're in darkness for a split second, your brain has to compensate, and you become quicker that way. Stefan Curry uses oh. this. Does system, he really? Think about that. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got one of the quickest releases in the NBA, so. There's something to it. Science backing this up. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. A lot more coming up from those folks this morning. Lee, thank you very much. Well, let's check in live with Lee Cruz this morning. He's at Mayan Vision and Sensory Performance. This place is really so cool and kind of groundbreaking for athletes. Lee, good morning. Yeah, if you're a, an athlete like myself, Haley, as you yeah. know, and you're looking for that edge just to give you a, maybe a nanosecond faster reaction time, there is a system in place now and like they'll use these strobe glasses let me see if i can think. see how that would work so you'd wear those your your brain's only going to get part of that information and then uh you got to figure that out so it would adapt to be quicker perfect example would be like seeing a, a pitch a high speed like a in baseball if it's coming at you 90 miles an hour and you're looking at that eventually your brain will process that as maybe 70 miles an hour and gives you the edge when we come back we'll tell you more about it before Welcome back to LEX 18 News at Sunrise. Now, today we're showing you something that was birthed out of Harrisburg, believe it or not, and uh, Dr. Jeff Klosterman, who's with uh, Mind, Vision, and Performance. It's a system that will help athletes. I, it, originally, this whole concept sort of came from uh, to help people with cognitive or brain damage. Uh, exactly. Disabilities, exactly. right? So, actually, as luck would have it, um, today is National Concussion Awareness Day. So. One of the things I'm really excited about uh, what this uh, device can do and what our training can do is we can establish a baseline profile. Uh, think of it as like an NBA combine, NFL combine, where we're measuring height or speed or athletic ability to jump. We can measure a visual and sensory and uh, motor skill profile for an athlete. And then if that athlete later in the season has an incident that might have caused a concussion or we have a confirmed concussion um, uh, from a doctor or from their trainer, <clears throat> we can use this technology to see how it's affected their visual processing system. And then we can actually use this to help rehab uh, their visual system and their proprioceptive skills of their other joints to get them back in the field if, if you, it's safe. So uh, beginning of the season, you test them. Yeah. They do these little visual cues, how quick they respond. And yeah. then, so that's your baseline. That's our baseline. They get their bell rung. You can take them right there on the sideline or locker yeah. room, have them do it again, and you can assess, wait a minute, or maybe. Yeah, so, so a lot of concussion protocols right now are uh, survey-based or asking a series of questions on the sidelines. So we can bring our tablet or our mobile version into the training room. Uh, we're developing a program with our local trainer. Uh, so it gives the, that trainer, the coach, an extra little um, piece of uh, it. Because they, they just ask them, like, who's the president? Yeah. Do you know where you're at? Right. Uh, you ask them who's who the president, playing? you know, yeah. nowadays with everything we got going on, you not only have concussion, depression along with it. Yeah, so if we know that they typically rank in the 70th percentile on visual perceptual 
um, uh, target awareness. And we run them that little skill set in the training room, and we see they're in the 30th percentile now. We know that's way off of their mark. Get him out of there. Get him out. Get him out of there. He's got he's got issues. Okay, when we uh, come back, we'll tell you more about the mind uh, performance, vision and performance, again, which came out of Harrisburg, and these guys are trying to set the world on fire. More with them in a bit. Yeah, and they are already. It's amazing the things that they can do for athletes. Lee, good, or good morning. A lot of thing. professional athletes very interested in this. Yes, yeah, that's right. Amy. Definitely. So cool. All right, 623 right now. And this morning, he's at Mayan Vision and Sensory Performance here in Lexington. They got a lot going on there. Lee, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, out of Harrisburg, they're helping uh, train athletes at the moment with uh, getting a quicker response time and gives them an edge. We'll show you how some of this technology works. Very fascinating. We'll go back to LAX 18 News at Sunrise. Now, today we've been telling you about this, uh, this idea that's coming out of Harrisburg with uh, Dr. Jeff Klosterman, who's come up with Mind Visual and Performance, by the way. It is Mind, not My End. So we'll, we'll get them trained on that. That's right. So we're using, uh, you know, technology to provide visual cues to make the brain faster, whether yeah. it's those uh, uh, those uh, strobe glasses yeah. or these kinds of tests. And you're going to put me through one real quick. Yeah, absolutely. So so once I figure out where people's um, baselines are, if I find areas of improvement, I can design an individualized training program for that athlete or uh, several athletes on one team. All right, let's do <laughs> and it. I can put them through it. So this let's is do this. Here we go. This is an eye hand coordination test. It's called Go No Go. So you have to make a decision. So I'm going to try to hit the Kentucky Wildcat logo, not the Duke Blue Devil exactly, logo. Exactly. So okay. Here we go. In so three. Hit the good guys. Go. Don't touch the bad guys. Okay. Hold this. You want to use both hands? Okay. Uh, go go go. You got one. Ah. Oh, that's. Oh, ah, I hesitated. I did that. I didn't count. No blue devils. No blue devils. Damn. <laughs> oh! All right. So oh, that's horrible. So once I get to this screen, I can yeah. tell how accurate you are. So you're, you had a 43% accuracy. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> this tells you your overall reaction time. So your act overall reaction time was 3,120 3, milliseconds. Really slowly. <laughs> really slowly. Um, so in certain areas, you had 500 and half a second 540 milliseconds is half a second yeah it takes about 400 milliseconds to blink you know so we're, we're dealing in the realms of fractions of seconds man that was my problem but I everything on the right side we might have to get you in for an eye exam you might yeah. have like I mean, visual loss of a second you missed yeah, everything on the right uh, side it could have been a stroke i had just then i don't know <laughs> anyway hey, it's cool stuff if they want to learn more where do they go uh go to our website uh www.mind m-e-y-e-n-d.com or we're all over Twitter, YouTube channels, uh, Instagram, at Mind Sports uh, is where you can find us. All right. Haley, that'll do it from here. Sorry about that lousy performance. Yeah, honey, I'm worried about you. Are you okay? No. No? <laughs> no. I'm going to send Tom That's straight over action. to check on you. Okay? All right, so stand by.